did you tell Kendrick before he went on that spurt with five minutes left? I think y'all were down six and he flipped the game. Yeah, just stay aggressive. You know, we started seeing areas in there where he could kind of get his moments. And then in transition, I told him earlier, I said, hey, get your, point, get your points in transition. Make a lot of plays early and it's going to open up in the second half. And it did, and he took advantage of it. I thought it was kind of weird. The guy came off a 42-point game, but in the first half, I think he had shot like five, six times. Um, and early in the second half, he wasn't looking to score. Can you explain why that is? No, he was creating plays. He doesn't need to force anything. These guys just need to make shots. They didn't make any tonight, but he was doing his job. He was making them honors. That's why it opened up at the, in the second half, because they knew that he would eventually uh, kick it out if they double-teamed him. Obviously, ugly game um, for much of the first half, early second half, but there was a period there where you know, y'all were you know, sleepwalking almost. What, what happened to the energy, you know, kind of three, four minutes in the second half? What Man, you, you know what? <laughs> I don't know about this group as far as, like, the energy. You know, we know what we have to do. Maybe they were just trying to just be overthink everything and wasn't being, you know, uh, proactive and, uh, and reactive. You know, it's just, to, to me, we come in at halftime, we tell them what to do, they go back out. You want to get a good warm-up? and then be ready to play. It seemed like the warm-up after halftime is, we, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta look at that for sure. What was the energy like in, in the locker room at halftime then? You said it was... You know, it was, it was pretty good because everybody was kind of stable. Everybody was kind of like calm and talking about what they did to us in the first half and uh, what we needed to do better in the second half. Obviously under a man today, what'd you, what'd you see from guys like K.O. and Jonathan Lawson who were kind of thrown in the fire? Well, K.O. had energy, Jonathan had poise and play making. And, you know, that's what they brought to the game today. When you're five minutes away from disaster is what I'd call it, you know, a quad three loss, something that would really affect you. Come selection Sunday, what's, what's going through your mind? Are you, how do you stay calm? I'm just trying to win the game. I'm playing chess the entire game. That's why you never see me get emotional because I'm trying to think about the next play ahead and, uh, you know, and find way, easier ways for us to get good shots and then defensively just trying to take away the threats. Another game where you guys obviously ended up on the wrong side of the rebounding battle. What's it going to take for this team to, to rebound like you know it's capable of doing, like you've said it is? They just have to do it, man. We're long. We're longer than we've been. I mean, you know, obviously Alo's injured, mm -hmm. but we went from six foot to six six. So that should bring, you know, we played a lot of when KD's out of the game. The, the shortest guy is six five. So man, we got to crash the glass. So that's got to be a part of who we are. Any update on Alo? What's that? What's that looking like? I'm thinking a couple weeks uh, or more. Okay. Right now, it's, it's not. It's not great. You said a couple weeks or more, so we're looking at... I, I, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just saying le at least a couple weeks. Jeez. Malcolm, is he on the verge of coming back? Malcolm is on the verge. He's looking better. You think he'll play Thursday against no, Wichita no, State? No, no, no. It won't be Wichita State. It won't be that game. And nobody's asked about Jaden. What's going on with him? I don't know, man. Nobody, uh, nobody <laughs> asked about Jaden. Um, his hip, he's getting better. You know, he's a part of the team, and, um, you know, he's getting better as well. Is he going to be back Thursday? Can we expect him back? Probably not Thursday. Maybe Cincinnati. Gotcha. Finally, you said, you know, guys just weren't hitting shots. Is that, a, is that a psychological thing? What do you? It is psychological because you're wide open and they're giving you an open look. And when you miss two, three, four in a row, you start put, to put more pressure on yourself. You just got to keep shooting the ball. Where do you, you kind of go from here? Obviously, probably not the game you wanted against the Temple team that, you know, y'all should be much better than. I just wanted the result. Temple is not a bad team. Man. No, that's fair. Yeah. They're not a bad team. And they look at our conference. This is not a bad team, a tough team. They, they just beat Cincinnati here. You know, earlier in the year. So it's like, they're not bad. They'd be building over here. So it's not like they're horrible. They're a good team. We just came in and dug out a win. And all I wanted was to win. There's nothing disappointing about a win. Didn't care how it looked, huh? No, it can look ugly, it can look pretty. It doesn't matter to me as long as we get the win. Was the kind of lack of energy early on, is that kind of let down from the double overtime loss against UCF? Or Man. How did the guys respond from that loss? Is what I'm asking. They were hurt because we knew we gave a game away. We've given two games away this year, Seton Hall and uh, UCF. And we almost gave one away today, so we wanted, we wanted two in those games. I meant to ask you this last time, but obviously before the start of the season, you had made it a point that this group was not going to be where it is now, on the bubble, you know, playing for seeding, not playing for in or out. Yep. Now, you know, you are where you are. How do you kind of reset goals, temper expectations? How do you deal with all of that? Go 1-0. Oh. You got to keep winning. You got to keep winning. You can't, you can't lose games that you're supposed to win. We were supposed to win last week. We won today. And uh, you guys got to keep winning. That's how that cures everything. What do you, what do you, all right, I got you. You understand that as a coach. What do you tell the guys who, you know, obviously they had lofty goals too. They had goals of a top five, top six seed, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think I'm trying to really continue to preach team and what we need to do to get into the NCAA tournament and to sacrifice your individual goals right now to have everybody focusing on a team goal and the individual goals will fall within that, that area.
Anything else you want to say? Nope. Appreciate Happy that. for the win.